What's going on YouTube? All my new current or future ride share drivers out there. I'm Dustin with Uber Driver 101. In today's video we're gonna talk about is driver safety. Now I know a lot of people might think, what, what, you know, what can I do? Well, there's quite a few things you can do to ensure that you leave the house, that you'll make it home at the end of the night. Now, first off, if you open your Uber app, you go to account, you go to settings, there's this thing in there called share my ride. That way, you can make sure that someone is tracking you and seeing where you are at all times while you're out there driving. I know iPhone has Find My iPhone, and of course Android, I'm sure there's other apps out there that you can use, but make sure you're doing this. Have a phone mount. Okay, a phone mount is a safety issue for a couple different reasons. In some states, it's you know illegal. You have to be hands-free while you're out there driving. You wanna make sure you're not having to look down, look up, left, right, whatever, and you know, while you're driving on the road and you can keep an eye on your passengers if you already have the phone mounted in a certain spot. Dash cameras, okay, now, I know this can be tricky sometimes because you have to make sure you follow whatever your local regulations are for your state on whether it's one party or two party consent. So if you have a dash camera, make sure you either have stickers up letting people know or not, depending on, like I said, your market. Um, personally, I would make sure I have the stickers anyways because I want people to know that they're on candy camera so that way that'll deter them from doing any stupid shit to begin with. Now, when you have all that and you finally do leave your house, what are you gonna go do? You're gonna go drive. Now, you don't wanna just go drive around aimlessly, of course, because you're wasting gas, putting extra miles on your vehicle, which yes, are tax write-offs at the end of the year, but still, you're gonna go park, okay? So, whether you're in the day shift, night shift, when you go park somewhere, try to make somewhere public where there's still people around. If it's at night, make sure it's well lit up so that way you can always be aware of your surroundings, okay? And when you're sitting there parked, make sure your windows are up and your doors are locked. Because let's face it, when we're all sitting there waiting for a ping, no one is just sitting there looking straight or anything else. You're usually looking at your phone, doing something else, reading a book. So major safety is just make sure everything is locked and windows are up. Okay, now let's say you finally do get a ping and you go to pick up people, please never take more people than you have seatbelts, okay? That is a safety issue against the law, everything, the whole nine yards. So please do not do that at all. If you do pick up, when you do pick up people, make sure it is not minors, okay? I know this can be difficult because younger people look older and of course they have, you know, the app, some people have their own credit cards their own account and all that crap and you know it is a headache for us drivers but please do not take minors because the safety issue there is they can report you saying anything at all and you know technically they weren't supposed to be in your car anyway so you could be in a whole lot of hurt even if you have a dash cam so please just don't do that all right parents with infants or children that require booster seat and they don't have them then don't take them okay because as we all know that's against the law and Babies and small children can be very dangerous projectiles. Okay, now if you do get a person, if you get one person, I know a lot of people don't like to have them sit up front with them, but if you can, have them sit up front with you. It may, might make conversation easier or whatever, but that way you're, you can see what they're doing at all times. If not, just try not to have them sit behind you. If they do, you can ask them respectfully to go ahead and please move over. But if they can't do something like that so easily, you can just cancel at any time because always follow your gut on and anything when you're out there driving. So if they can't do that, well, then they can't go on your ride. Now, if you, when you do have a full ride, of course, you just wanna always be, have your mirrors so you can see everybody in the vehicle. And you know, that makes sure that people aren't doing things that aren't supposed to, which hopefully if you have a dash camera, that's gonna alleviate that to begin with. I know Uber's T Uber and Lyft's TOS say that you cannot have weapons. So to get around that in a way, even though I still tell people to do whatever you feel is necessary to ensure that you feel safe while you're out there driving, carry a screwdriver, uh, one of those mag light flashlights, a little hammer, anything, okay? Because those are tools and they can't tell you that those are weapons. Well, I hope this video was helpful and informative to everybody. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down like comment let me know what you think below share always appreciate that let's get the word out subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and make sure you hit that little bell button so you stay updated with the new videos 
Always check the description below for extra helpful information and tips. Keep doing your thing, getting your money, stay safe out there, don't take shit from nobody, and as always, Uber and Lyft on. Peace out.